Exclusive Contracted Novel by Felu Novel Network. Gao Wu. Devouring everything, I transform into a golden horn giant beast in 2100 AD, the sky and earth shattered, and the destructive beasts invaded the blue star. Over the next 90 years, humans gradually awakened their genetic and spiritual abilities, and warriors were born. Jiang Chen's parents passed away due to a disaster, and they all shouldered the heavy responsibility of the family. However, they failed the college entrance examination and had no military career, so they were forced to choose the civil service career with extremely low salaries. At this moment, he unexpectedly obtained the inheritance of the pinnacle bloodline golden horn giant in the universe, possessing the ability to devour all things. Swallow thirty ferocious beasts, awaken your life method of burning yang and exhaling breath. Devouring three hundred billion tons of metal, enhancing strength to star level. Swallow the rules of the three thousand martial arts and master the three thousand source laws. Dot. At this point, Jiang Chen transformed into a golden horn giant beast. He stretched his wings, the wind crying and the sea roaring, and the sky and earth shattering. The body is covered with dark golden patterns, and the power of devouring is activated, transforming into a black hole, and the world is eternal night. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 in 2197 AD, I failed the college entrance examination and came from Star. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Jiangnan City. June Summer. Old residential areas. A certain top floor attic. The room is only about 5 square meters, with miscellaneous items scattered everywhere. In this crowded space, I barely squeezed out a space for a table and chairs. At this moment, Jiang Chen sat on the chair, staring blankly at the Alipay balance on his phone. There is also an admission notice from Jiangnan Technical College next to it. Only a deposit of 12,000 yuan. Xiaoqi needs to advance to the third year of high school, which requires a tuition fee of 16,000 yuan for six months, as well as rent, utilities, and a total of 4,000 yuan per month. A family's daily expenses can save around 500 yuan per month, and we also need to consider some unexpected expenses. There is also a loan, I have already borrowed around 30,000 yuan, which is already the maximum amount in my capacity. Sigh. Jiang Chen's face was full of sorrow. At the age of seven, Dukong Jinpeng attacked the Jiangnan base, plunging the world into the apocalypse, and a large number of people were shattered and devoured by the aftershocks. That day, Jiang Chen lost his parents. And he was buried in the ruins and dug out by Lan Chier, who was also an orphan. From then on, he and Lan Chier relied on each other for their livelihood. If only I could become a warrior. Jiang Chen whispered softly. In 2100, there was a dramatic change on the blue planet. The sky and earth have collapsed, with numerous cracks appearing. Subsequently, a large number of terrifying and almost legendary ferocious beasts invaded this mortal kingdom. Those ferocious beasts can easily destroy mountains and cities, and with a light wave of their giant claws, they can push a hundred thousand troops horizontally. In the end, they were able to barely contain the disaster with the help of nuclear weapons and weapons of destruction from various countries. But even the most dependent and powerful human weapon, nuclear weapons, are not omnipotent in combating ferocious beasts. Human territory is constantly being lost, and the global population has dropped from 7 billion to 1 billion due to a terrible catastrophe. However, as time passed, Humans seemed to have been infected by a certain aura of cracks, and some people began to gradually awaken their genetic and spiritual abilities. From now on. Warriors born. That is a group of extraordinary beings who can easily surpass human limits. Their appearance gradually reversed the situation between humans and animals, shifting from passive to active. Therefore, warriors hold the highest status in this era. Martial artists are the backbone of this world and the pillar of the human world. 
As long as you become a warrior, you can receive a monthly subsidy of 20,000 yuan. Jiang Chen murmured, incredibly enchanted. Unfortunately, he failed the college entrance examination and was unable to break through the 510 kg strength of a single arm. As a result, he was successfully admitted to Wudao University and was forced to choose the civil service path. Only by continuing education at Wudao University can one break through to 1,000 kg on a single arm and become a warrior. Technicians earn quite a lot of money in this era, and after graduation, they also have the opportunity to earn over 10,000 yuan per month. If they do well, they can even earn 15,000 yuan per month. Jiang Chen's mind is filled with thoughts. He weighs 370 kilograms per arm in the college entrance examination, so he can only choose to be admitted to Jiangnan Technical College and strive for high-paying opportunities after graduation. In this era, prices are generally rising, and physical labor is extremely unpopular. Ordinary people who want to make money must go to college and learn a skill. Then he remembered something he had missed. Jiang Chen frowned slightly, now realizing that he also needed tuition fees. The normal university tuition fee is also around 20,000 yuan. When he read this, Jiang Chen closed his eyes slightly and felt an indescribable suffocation. Money he is too short of money. Unfortunately, I don't have a natural talent for martial arts. If I do. Sigh. Jiang Chen let out a long sigh. He put away the admission letter and prepared to permanently press it under a pile of martial arts books on the table. He looks at the sky from afar. A never-dot-ending energy network envelopes Jiangnan City, which is a high-dot-density energy network that is the means by which humans can survive today. The Blue Star territory is occupied by about eight floors, and people seem to live in cages, being kept and watched as pets by those ferocious beasts. In this era, no matter who looks at the sky, they will feel an inexplicable sense of oppression. People all hope for a true martial arts saint to break free from shackles, lead humanity out of the cage, and truly run freely on the earth, breathing the air of the earth freely. Brother, it's time for dinner. A cheerful girl's voice came from downstairs. Upon hearing this, Jiang Chen showed a smile. Here we go. Walk down the attic. Sister Lan Chier is dressed in a light blue school uniform, tied with a blue strap and a high ponytail. She has a plain face, an extremely delicate face, and a lively temperament. Although it hasn't fully bloomed, I have seen a young girl fall in love for the first time. Brother, you can eat by yourself first. My classmates and I have a gathering and we are going out to play for three or four days. You need to take care of yourself. Lan Chi'er shook Jiang Chen's arm and smiled happily. The lively and youthful atmosphere rushed towards me, blinking my eyes and making me unable to resist being pitted. Okay, come back early and don't stay far from the city center area. The areas outside are not safe, and there are often fierce beasts attacking the energy barrier. Jiang Chen instructed. Before Jiang Chen could finish speaking, Lan Chi'er smiled and waved her hand as she left, I know, I know. Brother, you're about to become a little old man. Ha <laughs> ha. Lan Chi'er jumped happily, waving her hand and making a funny face for Jiang Chen as she opened the door and left, as if she didn't want to stay for a second. Jiang Chen looked at this scene with a helpless smile. I really want to become a little old man. He also knows that he has been burdened with a lot of worries lately, and his perspective on things will become more complex. As soon as Lan Chi'er left, she restrained her smile and no longer had that youthful and beautiful feeling. Instead, she was unusually cold and mature. Are what you're saying true? The universe, all races. Are you really from those mysterious places? Lan Chi'er has a dark blue ring in her hand, and she whispers to it. If Jiang Chen sees it, he will definitely be surprised. Is his sister talking to the ring? I don't need to lie, just like the blue star, in the vast universe of all races, I can't even rank. Warriors, generals, war gods, planets, stars. 
this world is just like that. I ask you, do you know what level this seat is of? A domineering female voice echoed in Lon Chier's mind. Can you make me a warrior? Lon Chier did not respond, but spoke calmly. Ha, huh, warrior. As long as you agree to my request, I will make you the eternal Allah. After the woman hesitated slightly, she became extremely confident. Okay. Lon Chier didn't hesitate and nodded heavily. Chapter 2 The Peak Bloodline of the Universe, Goldenhorn Devouring Talent You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After Lon Chier left, Jiang Chen began to have lunch and clean the room. The room has one bedroom and one living room, covering an area of about 35 square meters. The walls are yellowed, the floor is cracked, and there is an unpleasant odor. However, even such a house would take 35,000 to 51 months. Lan Chier lives in the bedroom, while Jiang Chen lives on the sofa in the living room. He usually goes to the attic to read and fight. After major disasters, humans barely live in war shelters, and the land inside is naturally precious. They can already be considered middle dot class if they have such a living environment. On weekdays, Jiang Chen works hard and studies part dot time, and with the inheritance left by his parents, he can barely make ends meet. However, now that his savings have bottomed out, Jiang Chen has to face a desperate situation. Lan Chier usually performs extremely well in the middle school entrance examination, weighing around 400 kilograms. If she gets around 51 kilograms in the college entrance examination, she can reach the minimum admission line for martial arts schools or martial arts universities. Jiang Chen frowned slightly. Lan Chier's grades are among the top in the entire Qingnan High School, with a high probability of being admitted to Wudao University. Once admitted to Wudao University or martial arts school, tuition fees can be waived, unlike Jiang Chen, who needs to pay an additional tuition fee of about 20,000 yuan. Therefore, my younger sister must go to the third year of high school in order to successfully enter university. As long as you are admitted to Wudao University, you have a great chance of becoming a respected and highly respected warrior. Along the way of martial arts, I have no chance with you anymore. I can only temporarily take a break from school and work. Jiang Chen let out a long sigh. He may feel unwilling and helpless, but due to money and talent, he can only bow down to reality. At this moment, a golden light flashed suddenly. Buzz. Jiang Chen only felt a darkness before his eyes and lost consciousness in an instant. Once he regained his consciousness, he felt a great change in heaven and earth. What happened? What happened? Jiang Chen fell to the ground, propped up and stood up, murmuring unconsciously in his mouth. He felt like he was being struck by a golden light, and then his mind went blank. Not long after. When he regained consciousness and had just taken control of his body, he had an indescribable and wonderful feeling. As if the whole world was aligned with himself, he could reach out and touch some cool and wonderful powers, and in his thoughts, he seemed to touch the order of the universe. Is this Genetic psychic power. A hint of shock flashed in Jiang Chen's eyes. He reached out and touched his surroundings, with golden lines circulating on his body skin, as if they were dense lines, communicating the power of heaven and earth. Jiang Chen noticed the golden pattern and his eyes were filled with surprise. But soon he calmed down. Surrounding. Is not genetic psychic power, what is that? Is it energy that exists between heaven and earth? The power from the great rift. Spiritual power. Jiang Chen calmly guessed. Ah. Before he could think about it, his whole head was in agony. He rolled on the ground with his head in pain, growling softly. Next up. Images flashed through my mind one by one. Billions of equivalent nuclear bombs have exploded. Two people. Tai Ping Yang. Humans. Warriors. Devour. Devour everything. That's the strongest human extreme martial arts school master Yi and the dean of Qingbei University, Emperor Sheng. 
The pain gradually dissipated, and Jiang Chen's eyes turned golden. He slowly stood up and spoke in a cold voice. Easy. Holy Emperor. These two people are heroes and believers of humanity. The strongest in the world. The ultimate pursuit of warriors. But at this moment, he coldly uttered these two names, even feeling a sense of disgust in his heart. The Golden Horn Giant was born and secretly processed by various countries' joint efforts, but unexpectedly, a primordial force escaped. The golden light just now was. Jiang Chen murmured softly. My heart gradually became excited. By chance, the golden horn awakened on the blue star and its origin parasitized on him. Golden Horn Giant The soul imprint from the source tells him that this is one of the pinnacle bloodlines of the universe, far exceeding the human bloodline by tens of thousands or billions of times. It is one of the strongest bloodlines in the real universe. Subsequently, he closed his eyes slightly. Five hearts facing the sky. He tried hard to communicate the power of the golden light, the original power from the golden horn giant. Gradually, he seemed to see a golden light in his own conscious space. That is the fundamental power of the golden horn giant, which seems to be entrusted to consciousness. Understanding the sea. Jiang Chen murmured softly. Instantly gain insight into its location. Chapter 3 Cleansing Essence and Marrow, Ascending the Origin of Life, Complete You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. A warrior has an elixir field. And in this world, there is also a profession called Spiritual Mindfulness Master, which possesses the power of the Sea of Consciousness, and the Golden Horn Giant Beast seems to rely on it. It is very cold and full of violence and blood. In Jiang Chen's induction, once his consciousness approaches this force, it begins to blur and is mercilessly devoured. Even, he felt a cold hostility. After multiple collisions and attempts of consciousness, Jiang Chen quickly breathed a sigh of relief. There is currently no danger. It's just a hidden danger after all. Jiang Chen frowned, but quickly relaxed his brow. Because he discovered something even more surprising. He not only has a clear sense of the energy of heaven and earth, but also possesses a natural ability from the golden horn giant. Swallowing ability. It can devour all things, turn them into personal use, and enhance strength, especially devouring metals can greatly evolve oneself. Jiang Chen whispered. My heart slowly heated up. Failing the college entrance examination and feeling disheartened. I thought I would be forced to work in a factory and become a member of the vast sea of people after repeatedly failing to do anything in my life. But unexpectedly, they obtained the original inheritance of the Golden Horn Giant. Allowing him to share the strongest cultivation talent from the Golden Horn Giant universe, he leapt to become the top genius in the universe. Warriors Conquer and become the strongest person in this world. Jiang Chen's eyes lit up with excitement. He can feel a burning sensation in his body as he breathes, as if heaven and earth resonate with it, transcending the realm of the human body. Jiang Chen could feel that as the golden light entered his body, his body was undergoing some subtle changes. Not only becoming stronger, but also some other changes. Jiang Chen murmured softly. The changes from the origin of life made him feel that emotions from humans were gradually fading away, which made him bite his tongue tightly before suddenly waking up. Jiang Chen's skin cracked, and some dark and yellowish impurities were excreted through his pores. Wash essence and cut marrow. Jiang Chen was surprised. About an hour later, Jiang Chen walked out of the bathroom. His body became increasingly slender and symmetrical, and his muscles showed a slight beauty through the white shirt. Her skin is fair, even smoother than that of a baby, and her overall temperament is cold, exuding a domineering aura that dominates the world. Even upon closer observation, it can be seen that deep in Jiang Chen's pupils are golden, with a strong malice that even a star-level warrior would fear. With a slight exertion, I felt my body's chi and blood rolling, filled with infinite strength, but I don't know how much my fist power is now. 
Jiang Chen chuckled lightly, feeling a bit curious. He remembers that there was a public punching machine in the community park, which happened to go out for a test. Gollum. Gollum. At this moment, an unprecedented sense of hunger came, making him see stars in his eyes, his body emit bursts of cold sweat and a faint sense of weakness. Moment all metal substances in the room. Electric appliances, iron pots, electronic devices, electric heaters, and so on bring strong temptations. Looking at those metallic substances, Jiang Chen had a feeling of wanting to tear them apart. However, in the next moment, Jiang Chen restrained this feeling. It seems that metal substances need to be absorbed. Jiang Chen pondered. He quickly thought of the garbage bin, where there would be a large amount of cheap metal. 12,000 yuan, 240 tons of scrap iron. Young man, why do you need so much scrap iron? Iron is the least valuable nowadays. At the entrance of the recycling bin, the chubby boss wearing a small hat pinched a cigarette, took a puff of the cigarette ring, and looked at the young man in front of him in surprise. Having lived for decades, he had never seen such demands before. My price should be your superior's purchase price. With so many irons to buy at once, it's reasonable that you should give me a much cheaper price. Jiang Chen smiled but did not give a direct answer. In this era, due to the birth of warriors and the emergence of ferocious beasts, some secret realms were gradually explored on earth. The steel that people rely on for use gradually becomes a subordinate metal, which is replaced by new alloys developed in various secret realms. Usually, the recycling price of one kilogram of scrap iron is around 15 asterisk asterisk. Ah, ha. You know, these scrap iron can actually be sold without having to be sold to you. It's just a waste, and there are also some good things inside this scrap iron. If you find them, you can make a lot of money. The fat boss took a big puff of his cigarette, his mouth full of yellow teeth, and his greasy face lit up with a smile, saying, Young man, you're so young, I don't understand what's going on here. The young man with a gentle gaze a moment ago, upon hearing these words, suddenly raised an eyebrow, and in an instant, a chill hit the fat boss's heart. At that moment, the body seemed to freeze. The boy, who was originally sunny and gentle, in his eyes, instantly became extremely fierce and cold with that raised eyebrow, like a prehistoric beast, staring at him faintly. Chapter 4 A. Dot grade metals worth millions. You are listening at novel full dot audio. I, I'll sell it. And it's guaranteed. The fat boss was frightened and stuttered, quickly speaking up. He felt like speaking slowly might be eaten by the boy in front of him. That's right. Just eat it. He has this terrible feeling. Excuse me boss, this is the destination address. Suddenly, Jiang Chen grinned. The sun is shining brightly, without any ferocity. The chubby boss was taken aback by this, and soon a greasy smile appeared on his face again. He reached out to the distance and said, that warehouse is just an electronic scale. I'll have someone load the truck for you. Soon. Several healthy workers appeared, some discarded cars, iron parts, etc. began to be transported to the warehouse, as well as some rusty screws, iron wires, etc. packed in oil paper boxes. Jiang Chen saw through some things at a glance, making up the numbers. 240 tons of scrap iron weighing completed. Jiang Chen walked towards the warehouse, ready to take a glance. All right, little brother, I won't charge you for the labor cost. It's a 10-kilometer journey, and so many goods cost a few hundred yuan. As the saying goes, there are treasures everywhere in the garbage heap, and there may be some useful treasures in these scrap metals. You can carefully search for them, and there may be a big surprise. As he walked, the chubby boss enthusiastically said. Upon hearing this, Jiang Chen sneered in his heart. Damn it! There is one in ten thousand opportunities to find treasures in the garbage heap, not to mention that if there were, you people would have scraped them away in advance. 
These merchants are so eloquent and eloquent, they can make up anything for you, and anyone can create a trap for you. Entering the warehouse, Jiang Chen glanced at it. The sharp talent from the golden horn giant instantly made him aware of the weight of these metals. Only two hundred tons. However, when he sensed, there was a scorching energy in the metal pile, causing him to perceive the slight fluctuations of the sea's golden light. A golden light flashed through my eyes. As if penetrating through nothingness, Jiang Chen saw the innermost fragment covered in rust. This is a dot grade metal. Jiang Chen was slightly surprised. A dot grade metal costs tens of thousands of yuan per gram. During his induction, there was at least 100 grams of A dot grade metal covered by rust. That is to say, this A dot grade metal is worth millions. At this moment, Jiang Chen's heart couldn't help but accelerate. Millions of RMB. He has never seen so much money in his life, which is definitely a huge wealth for him. Ah ha ha, how are you, little brother? I'll have my brother give you free delivery right away. The chubby boss spoke up. Delivery. Jiang Chen nodded with a smile. The boss laughed heartily and nodded with a smile when he saw the situation. Wait until Jiang Chen leaves. The chubby boss walked leisurely to the warehouse, opened the bottom of the electronic scale display screen, turned off a switch, and 240 displayed as 200. What's this little brat pretending to be mature? The actual weight is only about 200 tons, uh. I earned an extra 2,000 yuan, and it's still tender to compete with me. The chubby boss smiled. He felt immensely proud in his heart. The extra 2,000 yuan earned is equivalent to his net income for three days. Unexpectedly, in less than half a day, he was contributed by a foolish young man. Just smiling, the chubby boss furrowed his brow slightly always feeling unhappy. My heart is empty, as if something important has been lost. Can you say? There's really something good in that pile of scrap metal. The chubby boss muttered, feeling a bit dazed. But soon shake your head. How could it be? He has been in this industry for thirty years and has never found or heard of colleagues picking up treasures. At most, he only found some useful appliances. It's strange. Did you fall ill today? Grass. The chubby boss cursed angrily and stumbled over a stone while walking, leaving his face ashen. Three days later. Somewhere in the wilderness. Two hundred tons of scrap iron have been transported. In this era, the strength of both arms of adult males is around three hundred kilograms. Carrying these 200 tons of things takes half an hour without even sweating. Looking at the discarded metal like a small mountain, Jiang Chen took a deep breath. He looked at an oiled paper box, which contained some rusted nails, wire, and a very small piece of iron. Jiang Chen grabbed the iron plate directly, and at first glance, it looked ordinary. But Jiang Chen squeezed hard. Suddenly, the rust on top was shaken off, and a piece of metal emitting a delicate silver light was exposed in the air, with a faint burning sensation appearing on the fingertips. The surface appears light silver with a radiation temperature of around 29 degrees, is this an A? Grade metal. Recalling the descriptions in the textbook, Jiang Chen's eyes became even hotter. P.S. Can a new book be written? The first day's data is very important. We also hope that readers and friends can vote for free flowers and reviews. If the data is available, the author will update it immediately. Chapter 5 Devouring Become a Warrior Potential Followers You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the post-disaster era, humans have discovered many secrets. People have gained a lot of extraterrestrial technology from it, and thanks to this, Humans have not only undergone significant changes in physical fitness, but also in certain technologies. 100 G of A dot grade metal combined with some materials is enough to create a C dot grade battle suit. 
On the market, a C.grade battle suit is usually priced in the tens of millions. Jiang Chen's mind is filled with thoughts. Battle clothes. A type of combat clothing made of silk, metal, or similar armor, which can greatly enhance the combat and defense capabilities of modern warriors. Similar to the division of metal and weapons, combat clothing is also divided into seven levels. SSS, SS, S, A+, A, B, and C. Taking metal grade as an example, grade C metal is known as 99 purity gold by humans. The metal level that Jiang Chen unexpectedly obtained in front of him was level A, with a value nearly a hundred times higher than that of gold, with an estimated value of about 100 grams ranging from 3 million to 4 million. In this era, the working dot class and peasant class were extremely unpopular, with one skill being relatively good, otherwise most salaries were only around 3,000 yuan. Therefore, no wonder Jiang Chen was excited when he saw 100 G of a dot grade metal. Like a brilliant pearl among the stars, emitting a circle of silver wheels, this is the silver of the stars. Jiang Chen looked curiously and recognized its accurate information based on some features. As a teenager, he couldn't help but touch it a few more times and even took a photo with his phone as a memento. The next moment. Jiang Chen took action. He raised his arms slightly, his palms slightly opened, and strands of golden light appeared around him, while at the same time, intricate golden patterns appeared one after another. Swallow. The words fell. Mysterious patterns erupt, and time and space seemed to be twisted. The wind and clouds of heaven and earth changed color, and the air's speed increased, eventually turning into strands of strong winds that ravaged the surrounding area for hundreds of meters. If someone were here, they would definitely feel an astonishing sense of oppression, and their body would become extremely heavy, as if a wild beast had opened its blood-red eyes. Jiang Chen was slightly surprised. Quickly converging a bit, he didn't expect such a big commotion when his secret lines were slightly stimulated. Jiang Chen suppressed his power and eventually the surrounding area returned to normal. And in the blink of an eye, the 200 tons of metal in front of me had disappeared completely. He closed his eyes slightly and felt a sense of hunger in his body. His strength also slightly increased. It seems that it has not reached the threshold of a warrior. Jiang Chen murmured softly. Intuition told him that he was still a bit short. Finally, Jiang Chen's gaze was fixed on the A.grade metal. Without hesitation, Jiang Chen spread out his palm and the golden secret lines reappeared. Buzz. A miniature black hole appeared, like a fierce beast's big mouth, devouring a dot level metal in an instant. At that moment, all the golden secret lines on the body emerged. They are interconnected and circulating, appearing in the human world like a star map. A dot grade metal is rapidly refined with the explosion of secret lines, and warm currents flow through every corner of the body and limb. Pai Li Pa The abnormal sound of the body, and even the sound of thunder, is a manifestation of a certain degree of vigorous qi and blood. There is spiritual power between heaven and earth. The warrior introduces it into the body through induction method, which is used to harden the body and then complete the transformation of the physical body. And Jiang Chen's current state is also a transformation of his physical body, but he is not refining his body through spiritual power like an ordinary person. Jiang Chen took a slight step, tied his horse steps tightly, and his body merged into one. Boom! A deep roar rang out, and the ground sank slightly. The shoes fell into the ground, and the body moved away, revealing a footprint about three centimeters deep. Warriors! I have become a warrior. Looking at the shoe prints, Jiang Chen felt dazed. Unexpectedly, in less than a day, Kai Bai, who had over 300 strong arms, became the warrior that millions of people yearned for. Moreover, he can be certain that he is not an ordinary warrior level warrior. Jiang Chen clenched his fist slightly, showing a confident smile. Only 80 G of grade A metal with 100 G is effectively absorbed. 
but the effect is over a hundred times that of previous scrap iron. Jiang Chen sighed in his heart. He knew that the remaining twenty G of metal had not been absorbed, and there was no shortage of talent in the Golden Horn, which resulted in a loss of attraction. Is that you? Jiang Chen's gaze was profound. As a young leader, he has a more mature mind than many people. Even when he learns of potential dangers, he never panics. He is unusually calm. Even with a smile on the corner of his mouth. He only has joy now. Becoming a warrior now gives him the opportunity to look forward to the future. Test your punching power. Jiang Chen rushed back eagerly. Wilderness open space. Two minutes after Jiang Chen left. A stream of light flashed across the sky. Next second, in mid-air. An elderly figure stood in the air, accompanied by a young girl treading on a shuttle. Soaring in the air. In this era, without the use of any aircraft, only planetary-level warriors can achieve it, and these strong ones are among the strong ones in the entire Blue Star. Moreover, planetary-level warriors, with the title of Enfiefment Kings, are often the lords of small countries, and even among great powers, they are honored as guests of honor. That aura just now was right here. The old voice came, and he landed on the spot where Jiang Chen had left his footprints. This is an elderly man with pale hair and wrinkles. Although people may appear old, they do not feel at all lifeless, but rather vibrant. These are footprints. The cold voice of a woman came, and a woman in white ancient attire walked slowly, frowning and bending down to look at her footprints, showing a hint of curiosity. She has an extremely beautiful appearance, cold and stunning, with a faint sense of ancient beauty. Everything is gloomy in front of her, but no one dares to approach her. This thickness can only be achieved by junior generals and warriors with a strength of tens of thousands of kilograms. Among the first-year students of Qingbei University, few can achieve it. Teacher, you just said that the life wave you felt was vigorous and strong, definitely not exceeding 18 years old. This age must have just entered university. This. Yi Qingqing spoke with a condensed voice. She was extremely surprised. Qingbei University. The top university in Dragon Country. Wudao University, also ranked first on Blue Star. Students who can enter Qingbei University are undoubtedly among the best in the world martial arts. And in this Jiangnan city, there is such a genius. Some hidden martial arts families do not send their clan's geniuses to universities or martial arts schools, they will pour their clan strength into cultivating them. The old man gave a faint smile. Upon hearing this, the young girl Yi Qingqing nodded slightly and suddenly realized. But before she could completely dispel her doubts, the old man suddenly said meaningfully, But. This young man is not as simple as you think. If he were really a descendant of a noble family, I wouldn't change my route and come here. Upon hearing this, Yi Qingqing's heart trembled wildly and he suddenly looked at his teacher. It's not that simple. She had never heard a teacher give such high praise before. This old man is the second-ranked old professor at Qingbei University and a planetary-level warrior who has been crowned king. Fengwu King. Nia Yuan. Enjoys a high reputation and status throughout the Dragon Kingdom. Let's go, it's fate to meet this young man. Seeing the young girl stunned, Nia Yuan smiled slightly. He also withdrew his gaze. Just now, an inexplicable wave struck from a distance and shook his star core. No other way. He has a high status, how can he ignore ordinary storms? Chapter 6 30,000 Fist Power You are listening at NovelFull.audio The community where Jiang Chen is located is called Yujing Community. In the outskirts of Jiangnan City, in this era, the closer to the core area, the higher the value of real estate, because the most powerful warriors live in the core area. As long as the warrior is present. So we can hold up a sky. Even if fierce beasts ravage, people can still calm down. 
This is the charm of warriors in this era. They are not only the backbone of the world, but also the pillar of human spirit. Those high that ranking officials and wealthy individuals without martial arts talents have settled in the core area, and even this area will not be allowed to enter without a pass. In the last fierce beast rebellion, Jiang Chen's parents died because there were no powerful warriors present in the peripheral area in time. If it were in the core area, such a disaster would definitely not occur. So Jiang Chen has had an inexplicable obsession since childhood and must live in the core of the city. In 2100, the Great Rift appeared and the rebellion of fierce beasts began. In the following 97 years, warriors emerged one after another, and the powerful could continuously evolve their lives and become stronger, using their own strength to fight against fierce beasts. Therefore, in this era, the entire population worshipped martial arts. Everyone in contemporary times advocates martial arts, rather than 2100 years ago, with the goal of achieving test scores. So from the whole country to every household, you can see books, advertisements, instruments, and so on about martial arts. And the fist strength tester is standard in every community. Eugene Community and Fitness Public Room In the afternoon, many people are working or practicing, so there are not many people here. Before 2100 AD, the whole nation went to school. After that, everyone practiced martial arts and tried their best to break through. In this era of martial arts, everyone pursued martial arts and even remained closed for a long time in order to cultivate. Jiang Chen smiled with emotion. If the energy of martial arts cultivation were used in reading, perhaps human civilization could have made a leap as early as 2100 years ago. Human beings only in the most critical moments can unlimited potential be unleashed and united. After waiting for a while, Jiang Chen took advantage of the gap when everyone was absent and came to the boxing test machine. It is simply welded into a square with steel, covered with iron sheet on the surface, and there is also a simple pointer punch display at a height of one person. Brush a little paint on the outside, but you can still vaguely see some rust. There are also some notes pasted on it, filled with handwriting. Go for the college entrance examination. I must become a warrior. 560 kilograms, June 19, 1997. Fist power of 1,100 kilograms, uh. I am a warrior, remember my name Wang Mang. A genius among the younger generation in Yujing community. Born as a commoner, I have been here ever since. Dot. Some notes were pasted on it, expressing the emotions of countless testers. This is the punching test machine. There is an alloy pillar with a neck thickness in the middle position. The tester needs to hit the iron pillar with their fist to obtain the punch strength value. The boxing mat for testing needs to be purchased by oneself. Jiang Chen smiled and spoke up. In this era, human flesh is far less powerful than ferocious beasts, so it is necessary to have various combat uniforms to avoid being killed by the claws of ferocious beasts. Human fists can defeat fierce beasts, but humans are still in the stage of flesh and blood. But Jiang Chen rushed from the wasteland without a boxing mat. This is not that Jiang Chen forgot to bring it, but that he is preparing to confirm something. Who? Jiang Chen exhaled a mouthful of turbid air lightly. My eyes froze slightly. The next moment. The waist exerts force, and the whole person is like a fierce tiger, with a slightly drooping body, ready to pounce on prey. Jiang Chen threw a punch, but retained his remaining strength. Dong. A loud roar rang out. One thousand kilograms, the pointer trembled, and the count began to soar, instantly reaching a value of one thousand kilograms, meeting the standards of a warrior. Blink again. The number of tables has jumped again. 5,000 kilograms, 8,000 kilograms. The final value remains at 10,000 kilograms. Indeed, I have surpassed the warrior level and reached the warrior level. Jiang Chen murmured softly. He withdrew his fist without showing a surprised expression, instead looking at his own fist. Slightly reddish, 
but without any damage. Shake the steel with flesh and blood. This is one of the enhancements brought by the Golden Horn Giant, giving me a ferocious beast like physical strength that can reach a terrifying level without wearing battle clothes. Jiang Chen is excited. The punch just now, except for a slight pain, didn't even hurt the skin. Give it another punch. After confirming his physical strength, Jiang Chen punched with all his might. Boom. The roar was loud this time, causing the roof to shake. 31,200 kilograms, 30,000 kilograms of fist power. Jiang Chen's eyes sparkled with essence, and if combined with the stimulation of the golden horn giant beast's secret pattern, it could have an amplification effect of about 10 times. That is to say Jiang Chen exerted all his strength with a punch of 300,000 kilograms. What terrifying fist power this is. If it were before 2100, it would probably scare the hearts of countless people. Jiang Chen withdrew his fist. This time there was a faint white dot on the fist, but it quickly disappeared. If it weren't for Jiang Chen seeing quickly, I'm afraid he wouldn't even be able to see this white dot. Extremely strong self-healing ability. And the terrifying increase in secret fist power. Jiang Chen whispered softly. He didn't try to use the secret method to increase the amplitude, and this small tester couldn't bear it at all. He was afraid that if it fell, it would split into pieces. Amplification secret. It is a means to enhance one's own attack power, usually essentially a power technique. Of course, there are also some special secret techniques like cultivation methods, but those are very rare. I heard that the master of the Jidao Martial Arts School, E, cultivates the powerful fist, which is a power technique that only increases by about six times when cultivated to the level of perfection. Jiang Chen's mind is filled with thoughts. However, the secret pattern stimulation from the Golden Horn Giant has a fundamental tenfold increase, and if further explored, it may even exceed this number. Worthy of the Starry Beasts What kind of pressure? Just as Jiang Chen was about to leave, a cursed voice came in. It's your kid who's causing trouble here. Don't you know the rules here? Do you know who I am? A young man with a flat head came cursing. Are you? Jiang Chen's gaze was slightly fixed. He did make a lot of noise, he was afraid of causing unnecessary trouble. Who am I? Listen up. My punching power is 1,100 kilograms, uh. I am a warrior, remember my name Wang Mang. A genius among the younger generation in Yujing community. Just being born a commoner becomes a warrior. Wang Mang, a young man with a flat head, had an air akin to his waist, patting his chest with exceptional pride and confidence. He even raised his head and looked at Jiang Chen with a sideways glance thinking that he must be the pride of his family. After listening, Jiang Chen was slightly taken aback. He I thought it was some big shot. However, being able to become a warrior at this age and coming from a commoner background is truly remarkable. You should know that some genetic potions and treasures can enhance strength, and these things can be priced in the millions, only nobles can enjoy them. I'm in charge of this place, not being disturbed or stolen by anyone. You kid, truthfully recruited me. What was the commotion just now? Can it be that you were just dropping a nuclear bomb? Wang Mang stared at Jiang Chen with an unfriendly expression. Just assume that I was indeed firing a nuclear bomb just now. Jiang Chen gave a gentle smile. Your mother, are you trying to coax the child? Wang Mang became angry and reached out to grab Jiang Chen. But in the next moment, Jiang Chen casually waved. Wang Mang saw a flower in front of him and was pushed to the ground with a loud thud. His head buzzed, and he almost couldn't slow down and turned his back in one breath. As soon as he tried hard to stand up, he felt a sharp pain in his body. Ah! It hurts, it hurts. I'm about to fall apart. How could it be? I'm a warrior. Surprisingly, a little kid almost waved his hand and pushed me to meet the Yen Prince. Wang Mang grinned in shock. He's stupid. 
what was I doing just now? I was being arrogant with Yen Luoyi. Dot. Wang Mang recalled, sweating profusely. He felt like he had walked through the gates of hell. Chapter 7 Your Brother or Your Brother You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Eugene Community, Unit 1, Building 5, 2002 Room Attic Jiang Chen sat on the chair and took out the admission letter pressed under the book again. He glanced at it and carefully considered it before he reached out and tore it apart. It's time to open up a new future. Jiang Chen murmured softly. In the Blue Star Xiangua, there are two ways to enter Wudao University. One is a special recruitment, and the other is an exam. Now Jiang Chen has another option, which is to join the martial arts school. In Xiangua, martial arts schools are similar to private enterprises. While universities are similar to state-owned enterprises, under the control of the state, and are more standardized. Jiang Chen's mind is filled with thoughts. Only by joining a martial arts school or being admitted to a university can he receive a subsidy that belongs to martial artists. However, joining martial arts schools and universities requires unconditional acceptance of the national call to resist ferocious beasts. This regulation is considered mandatory, otherwise the country would not provide subsidies to warriors for no reason. Martial artists use the spiritual power of heaven and earth to refine themselves, and I can also do so, with a refining speed hundreds of times faster than before. If there are special medals, my strength can even be unlimited. I need more resources. Jiang Chen pondered in his heart. Subsequently, he began to meditate to familiarize himself with the strength of the warrior level. Newcomers are called warriors, with a standard strength of 1,000 kilograms and a speed of 26 meters per second. During this stage, they can usually serve as university teachers or bodyguards for high-dot-ranking individuals. To further enhance, one will become a general-level warrior, with a standard strength of 10,000 kilograms and a speed of 260 meters per second. Some senior officers are at this level. Going forward, God of War level. Also known as the God of Martial Arts and War. Planetary level. Feng Wang Feng Hao. Star level. Human Martial Saint. The strongest in the world is at this level. Going further, Jiang Chen is not very clear about the level. If further subdivided, with warrior level as a reference, the junior warrior weighs 1,000 kilograms, the intermediate warrior weighs 2,000 kilograms, and the senior warrior has 4,000 kilograms of fist power. Therefore, according to the standard, his strength should be at the intermediate level of a general. It's in the afternoon. The streets are sparsely populated, and people are striving for the unknown future. Lan Chi'er is wearing jeans and a white tee dot shirt on her upper body. Her eyebrows were curved, her pupils were clear, and her fair and flawless cheeks revealed a faint pink. She walked briskly towards the Eugene community. At this moment, her mood is good, and the corners of her mouth can't help but rise. How about it? I didn't deceive you, did I? In just three days, I made you a high-dot-level warrior with a fist power of five thousand. You were just one step away from taking the last step to resonate with qi and blood, and you can become a warrior-level warrior. The Xianqing ring shimmered with light, and the woman's voice inside was cold and stunning. Warrior-level fighters typically have a fist power of up to 5,000, up to a maximum of 6,000. To further break through, it is necessary to familiarize and control one's own qi and blood, conduct qi and blood resonance, and then elevate to a new level significantly improving fist power to 10,000 kilograms and promoting to the rank of general. Ji Shirzuan. You really have great powers. I didn't expect to become a martial artist in three days. This has never happened in this world. Lan Chi'er's eyes sparkle. That's right. She has become a warrior that everyone yearns for, and she is only one step away from the level of a warrior. As long as you become a warrior-level warrior, you can receive a monthly allowance of 20,000 yuan. 
and the warrior level warrior can receive 100,000 renminbi per month. I dare not even think about it before. You should know that she also secretly works part dot time with Jiang Chen behind her back, and can only earn about 12 yuan per hour. When I was young, it was even only 7 or 8 yuan. At the end of a month, there is only an additional income of around a thousand yuan. Now, she can easily earn 20,000 or even 100,000 yuan by registering at a martial arts school or university. In this way, our rent, utilities, loans, my tuition fees, and my brother's tuition fees will all be solved. Lan Chi'er's mood is incredibly wonderful. She never imagined that one day she wouldn't have to worry about money. Although she is an optimist and has never mentioned money to her brother, Lan Chier has always been aware of Jiang Chen's silent dedication. She was quick-witted and even figured out the current predicament at home, and even guessed that Jiang Chen would drop out of school and work to provide her with education. Stinky brother, do you know to keep everything in your heart and not tell me anything? Still treat me like a child. Now that I have become a warrior, I am already an adult. Lan Chier proudly muttered to herself. This is just the beginning. To be honest, I have been staying in your body for ten years, although it has delayed your awakening of the Holy Communion, but I have. Cough, I will make up for all the time you've wasted. The woman let out a light cough. She was shattered by the enemy in the Star Wars of the Ten Thousand Clans, and her remaining soul escaped by chance. Finally, attracted by the holy body of Lan Chier, she settled deep inside her body. Master, what do you mean by the holy body? Can I become a powerhouse beyond the star level? Lan Chier asked curiously, but still couldn't help rolling her eyes. She finally figured it out. Earlier, there was a parasite in her body that was sucking on her spiritual power and chi and blood. Otherwise, she is likely to have become a warrior before the age of ten. Holy Communion. That is the constitution that walks with the martial arts path. The constitution you awaken can even rank in the top five among all races of the starry sky human race. The woman smiled and spoke. However, she immediately spoke with some regret and said, Unfortunately, you are a human race, and even the Holy Communion cannot compete with those peak races in the universe for talent. The human race is ultimately small and unattainable among all races. If you were a stronger race awakening the Holy Communion, perhaps you would go even further. After listening, Lan Chier felt a bit dizzy. What kind of human Holy Communion? Peak racial bloodline. And it also vaguely belittles the human race. Master, you don't want me to be a person. Are people really so weak? Lan Chier is a bit dissatisfied. Do you know that in some of the fantasy novels she reads, the human race is extremely talented and can be extrapolated to other races, but in reality, it is the opposite. How about that? Blue Star Ferocious Beasts are rampant, they can easily defeat Blue Star Warriors of the same level, and the number of strong ones is far greater than that of humans. The current situation of the Blue Star is a microcosm of the universe's human race among the thousands of races. The true peak existence is those peak races that have stood for thousands of years, such as Starry Beasts, Heavenly Human Race, Void Spirit Race, and so on. The woman's voice was somewhat yearning, with some emotion. She is also a human race, and it is precisely because of the limitations of human physical talent that she has blocked her path forward. Without other opportunities, she may never be able to reach the pinnacle of her life. Starting from today, you and I will start practicing hard. As for your high school seniors, you don't need to go. With me around, it's countless times better than any teacher on Blue Star. As for the resources, you don't have to worry. I have some preserved in the space ring, which can fully support you to the star level. The female master smiled and spoke. She is very satisfied with this disciple, and his talent is extremely good. Although he cannot be compared to his peak talent, he can still be ranked within the top 50 in the starry sky. She is even more talented than before. Moreover, 
residing in Lon Chier's body for ten years, she observed that her character and mental state were extremely in line with her appetite. Just. Upon hearing this. Lon Chier was stunned for a moment, her voice suddenly increased, and she lost her voice and said, Are you going to make me drop out of school? The people around were startled. Staring blankly at the girl on the street. If I drop out of school, my brother will kill me. Lon Chier quickly left and spoke in a flustered expression, Master, if you let me practice in a triple gravity environment for a month, I would be willing to. But dropping out of school. No way. Chapter 8 Baby Kiss Meng Ran. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. You. The voice of the female master paused slightly. Her mind couldn't help but conjure up that face, which seemed useless to her except for its slightly handsome appearance. Even now it has become a drag, a hindrance on the path of her disciple Lan Chier's cultivation. No, you have to listen to me. In school, it's just a waste of cultivation time. The female master spoke sternly. I can't reveal the existence of you, master. If I don't explain the reason for dropping out of school, my brother won't be able to spare me. Lan Chier smiled bitterly. She also faced difficulties. What are you afraid of? As a strong person, there's no one who's as timid as you are. Don't you want to become stronger? The female master spoke seriously, his voice slowed down, and then said, You were just excited about the 20,000 yuan subsidy. Do you just want to stop at 20,000 yuan? After listening, Lan Chier's eyes lit up slightly. Yes, master, you are always right. I want to become stronger and become a strong person. A strong person cannot be afraid of anything. Lan Chier nodded heavily. Then take a light puff of turbid air and stride towards the Yujin community. Hold your head high, your eyes filled with determination. Seeing this appearance, the female master was speechless. Where are we heading to the restricted zone of life? She is very clear about this goods, and if it weren't for her second half of the sentence, it would probably be a different situation. I'm a disciple. It seems like I'm a bit obsessed with money. The beautiful teacher Ji Ziyue couldn't help roast in her heart. Yujing Community Jiang Chen's Home There is a color TV in the living room. The home is empty and silent. Only the faint sound of television news rang out. This is Xiaojiang TV Station 1, now broadcasting the latest news for you. The college entrance examination in Xiaojiang City has ended, with an undergraduate admission rate of 46.2% and a key university admission rate of 10.1%. Among them, Meng Yiran, the top scorer in the college entrance examination in Xiaojiang City, was born into a commoner family and was admitted to Qingbei University, which ranked first in the Blue Star Martial Arts with a score of 910. Mayor Lin Xian delivered an important speech, highly praising Meng Yiran and awarding him the title of Top 10 Outstanding Youth in Xiaojiang City. The city will hold an award ceremony for Xiaojiang's top scorer in the college entrance examination in five days, Meng Yiran, graduated from Qingnan Middle School. The sound of the TV is very low. But soon, the sound of the TV turned off with a door-closing sound. A slender palm lowered the remote control, and the slender willow eyebrows furrowed slightly, but quickly unfolded. Brother. Your good sister is back. Lan Chier smiled and said loudly. At this moment. When I got home, I felt like I was completely different. Pia Piao ran, slightly excited. Even the smile from the corner of the eye couldn't stop flowing out. She returned home as a warrior-level warrior. Oh no no no. He is a quasi-general-level warrior. Her punching power has reached the limit of 5,000 kilograms at the warrior level, which in her opinion can barely be called a quasi-warrior level. After all, it only takes about another week of polishing time to break through to the level of a general. If my older brother knew that I had increased my punching power from over 400 to 5,000 in three days, what kind of expression would it look like? I'm afraid my chin would drop in shock, 
right. Lan Chia wrapped her arms around her chest, feeling a sense of satisfaction in her heart. In this era, it takes about three months for even a genius at the Qingbei level to increase his martial arts strength from 500 to 5000, along with some potions. On the attic. Upon hearing Lan Chia's slightly arrogant voice, Jiang Chen slowly opened his eyes. A ray of golden light flashed through his eyes, and he felt his strength improve again. After consolidation, I'm afraid my punching power will increase to around 35,000 kilograms, just one hour of breathing and breathing. If I sit for another day, there should be a chance to reach 40,000 kilograms. Jiang Chen smiled and spoke up. Subsequently, he walked down the attic and saw Lan Chier with bright eyes. Her chin lifted slightly, carrying a lively and youthful aura. With a bare face facing the sky, she now becomes bright and charming, more confident. Your good sister has returned, and I am very happy today. I have something to announce. Lan Chier walked over and patted Jiang Chen's shoulder. Upon hearing this, Jiang Chen's gaze moved slightly, and for the first time, his gaze fell on a blue and black ring on Lan Chier's left index finger. He has never seen his sister wear a ring before. And as his strength improved, his subconscious made him feel that this thing was probably extraordinary. Lan Chier also noticed Jiang Chen's gaze. She coughed lightly and nervously inserted her left hand into her pocket, then smiled and said, Brother, have you eaten yet? I'll make it for you. Jiang Chen's gaze lifted, and Lan Chier met his profound gaze. Suddenly, Lan Chier shuddered, feeling as if her heart had been penetrated. This feeling has never been felt before. What happened? In her perception, her brother was very friendly, but also very distant, making people feel an inexplicable palpitations. If described by one feeling, it is a sudden and faint sense of oppression. It's nothing, it's just that you've never worn such an ugly decoration before. Jiang Chen grinned and said, there's still one and a half months left for summer vacation. Let's go and have fun. When I get into my third year of high school, I'll be sprinting with all my might. Brother, I'm counting on you to go to college to support me. After listening, Lan Chi'er heard the sarcastic voice of her master in her mind. Ugly. Does your brother know what this ring is? That is something that all the supreme beings of all races crave, something that countless divine beings have to die for. In your brother's eyes, it is ugly. Narrow vision. Lan Chi'er remained silent in her heart. She had never seen her master so angry before, and in her impression, everything remained calm and ethereal, with a fairy-like demeanor. After the beautiful master Ji Ziyue roast, she kept silent again, and she noticed that she was in a bad mood. This kid's gaze is a bit strange, it actually makes me a little restless. There's something wrong. Ji Ziyue murmured in her heart. Just now, Jiang Chen's gaze swept over the ring, and a strange feeling came over, disturbing Ji Ziyue's heart. The feeling was very overlord. Like an emperor. Subsequently, she silently observed Jiang Chen, but unfortunately, her strength did not even reach one billionth of her heyday, and she could not see through her peak bloodline. By the way, what were you trying to say earlier? Jiang Chen is curious. Ah, this. It's nothing, cough cough, I'll cook for my brother. Lan Chi'er's back was sweating profusely, and she changed her mind without mentioning dropping out of school. Looking at Lan Chi'er, who was running very fast, Jiang Chen looked puzzled. This girl seemed to be a bit strange since she had that ring. Drop by drop. Just then, a phone call came. Meng Yiran. Seeing this name, Jiang Chen's gaze was complicated. Hello, Yiran. Congratulations on taking the 910 kg college entrance exam and being admitted to Qingbei University. You are the top scorer in our city of Shaojiang. Jiang Chen showed a smile. Meng Yiran is the daughter of his father Jiu. They were childhood sweethearts and have had a great relationship since childhood. 
Even the two families, seeing how close their relationship is, have decided to marry each other. Hmm. Thank you. Also, are you available later? Hmm. See you in the old place. On the other end of the phone, a sweet and cold voice came. If you have time, I'll see you later. Jiang Chen restrained his smile and nodded slightly. Xiao Qi, I'll go out. Just make your own portion for dinner. All right, brother, I got it. Bang. As the door closed, Lan Chi Er poked out her little head and looked out the window at the figure of Jiang Chen leaving downstairs. Her face was gloomy and she frowned tightly. I smell a foul smell. Lan Chi Er snorted lightly and said, Master, I've made a decision. I won't go to high school in my third year. I'll follow you to practice. Gzue. Dot. I want to follow up and take a look, to secretly protect my brother. Gzue. Dot. Master, could you say something, eh? Is this ring broken? Gzue. Dot. In the evening. A gentle breeze and cool air. On the southern hill of the city, there are pairs of green shadows. On the verdant grassland, couples come and go, playing and enjoying the rare evening breeze and tranquility. By a small stream. There is a female student standing in a light blue school uniform. Not long after, Jiang Chen arrived. Walking over to the side, he smiled and said, Congratulations, it's been a long time since Shaojiang City produced a college student from Qingbei. No, this is your favorite lollipop. Jiang Chen smiled and spoke up. He had two red skins in his hand, and a light yellow stick seemed to hold a red balloon. She turned her head when she saw the lollipop being handed over. The girl is gentle and has a friendly smile. She is very simple. In order to be easy to take care of, she has short hair and her school uniform has turned white after washing. Even though the school allows her to wear her own pants, she still wears the unsightly mop pants of the school. However, wearing extremely simple clothes and not even dressing up, Meng Yiran, who was casual and pure natural, still had a face of disaster for the country and the people. Every frown and smile carries the beauty of a pure and charming girl. Thank you. Meng Yiran took it, but she didn't eat it. And Jiang Chen had already opened the packaging paper, stuck it in his mouth, and looked into the distance. Chapter 9 Goodbye A Childhood Sweetheart In the Past You are listening at NovelFull.audio The lollipop is not as delicious as it used to be. It's all essence added to modern industrial products. It's either sweet or sweet. I still miss the taste of the past. Jiang Chen sighed with emotion. When Meng Yiran was a child, she was a runny nose and always liked to cry. He liked to buy lollipops to soothe her, and every time he saw the lollipop girl, she would smile happily and never cry or make a fuss again. Meng Yiran remained silent, clutching the lollipop in both hands and looking into the distance with the same gaze. Thank you for taking care of me when I was a child. Sometimes I really want to go back to the past. At that time, I was happy and worry-free, maybe there weren't so many troubles. Meng Yiran spoke softly. Silence lasts for a long time. The gentle breeze blew, and Jiang Chen smiled. He lay on the grass and said, When are you leaving? Let's leave tomorrow. Qingbei University has a one-and-a-half-month special training before the start of the school year. Meng Yiran said. Let's go, let's go. The snot bug from childhood has grown up, and you no longer need adults' protection. With your talent, you can reach the pinnacle of martial arts. Jiang Chen gave a scattered smile. At that moment. His heart was empty, and his eyes dimmed slightly. When the college entrance examination results are announced, he can think of this day. I'm sorry. Meng Yiran lightly bit her lips, her eyes charming, and she looked at Jiang Chen. What is there to apologize for? 
Jiang Chen smiled bitterly and shook his head. But. I. Can you wait for me then? Meng Yiran struggled, but she remained standing. Looking down high at the seemingly relaxed and relaxed young man. The youth did not respond. I want to complete my studies, my talents need to be showcased and brilliant. I can no longer have any other distractions in my heart. I really enjoy the path of martial arts. If one day I reach the peak, I would really be willing to look back and join hands with you. By show. Meng Yiran looked excited and spoke fiercely. Her eyes turned red and her voice trembled slightly. Before she could finish speaking, Jiang Chen stood up and waved his hand to stop her. Iran, what are you talking about? We have always been childhood sweethearts, childhood sweethearts, and best friends. I don't need you to say these things to prove anything. Jiang Chen smiled slightly. The girl sobbed and threw herself into Jiang Chen's arms. Jiang Chen stood still, quietly gazing into the distance. Previously Meng Yiran often cried, confiding all her troubles in his arms. He would gently pat her back to comfort her and tell her to be strong. Now Jiang Chen looked into the distance with a look of melancholy and sadness. At this moment, Jiang Chen let go. He chose to fulfill Meng Yiran. Separating two places is destined to be nothing. Unless he also joins Tsinghua University. I went to Qingbei University and would write to you every month. Meng Yiran whispered. Mmm. Jiang Chen nodded slightly and said with a smile, let's go meet uncle and auntie. It's been a long time since I last saw the second elder. Two people leave. Lan Chier, hiding behind the tree, watched everything coldly. Creak, creak. Lan Chia grinds and cuts her teeth. Staring coldly at Meng Yiran, a hint of coldness and anger flashed in his eyes. Cheap. One day, I'll fuck you to death. Lan Chia waved her fist. That girl's talent is not too bad. I can vaguely feel a spiritual force flowing through her body. She is likely to awaken her spiritual power and become a spiritual thinker. The two of them are indeed not from the same world. Gzue spoke up. Mentologists. Lan Chier was slightly surprised. Spiritual mind masters are also a type of warrior who can control all things, engage in spiritual attacks, and possess far greater strength than warriors of the same realm. The strongest blue star and the dean of Tsinghua University, Emperor Sheng, is a spiritual thinker. This kind of strong person is extremely rare. In Blue Star, there are over 8 million registered warriors, but there are less than 80 spiritual minders. It can be seen from this how rare such warriors are. Once it appears, it will inevitably cause madness among various forces, and even some strong individuals will fight fiercely just to win the favor of spiritual masters and geniuses. This bitch didn't even tell my brother. Lan Chier's eyes flashed with a cold light. Perhaps she didn't know it herself, Chier. Don't think so badly just because she's your brother. Besides, when you grow up to the level of the universe, it won't be a problem to help your brother transform his bloodline. Gzue spoke helplessly. She has an upright personality and an extremely upright and simple character. In the universe of all races, her brothers are harmonious. Although she is a proud son of the clan, her relationship with other heavenly lords is also extremely good. The human heart is not so complex. Master Gzue, I respect you as my master my brother is very excellent, not comparable to that bitch. And women's intuition is not wrong, time will prove everything Lan Chier spoke very seriously. Time will prove everything. Gzue was slightly stunned. But the next moment, upon closer reflection, she felt speechless in her heart. Isn't she a woman anymore? Okay, I'll take a look at some woman's intuition, and I'll wait for time to prove it. Gzue replied calmly. She sneered in her heart. What woman's intuition? 
she never believes in this, it's not as true as the will of martial arts. Oh my, Xiao Jiang is here. Come in quickly, there's no need to change shoes. We're all from our own family. Why are you talking so much etiquette? Meng Yiran's father, Meng Long, warmly greeted and pulled Jiang Chen in from the door. It's Xiao Jiang. And Iran. You two are going. Meng Yiran's mother, Lu Lin, looked at the two and opened her mouth with a smile. Hello uncle and auntie. Jiang Chen smiled and nodded. Sit down, sit down, don't leave tonight. I'll have the old lady make some ferocious beast meat. I heard it's the meat of the god of war level ferocious beast, which is the top scorer reward given to Iran by the city. Meng Long spoke up. Yes, yes. Iran was admitted to Qingbei University. Although Xiao Jiang's grades are not good, don't be discouraged. As the saying goes, in 360 lines, every line produces the top scorer. If you become a top scientist in Xiangua, your status is not inferior to that of a warrior Lu Lin comforted. The two elders were very enthusiastic and took Jiang Chen to his seat. His parents and the elderly came from the period of major disaster reconstruction and experienced an extremely difficult period together. Some commoners, such as the parents of Er Lao and Jiang Chen, can only camp on the streets and pick up some leftover food. That period of time made the emotions of the older generation particularly deep. Since a few years ago, when Jiang Chen's parents died in Dakong Jinpeng, the two elders have treated Jiang Chen as their own child and loved him in every way possible. A family of four sat at the tea table. Chatting casually. Talking about the past, there are still memories of Jiang Chen's parents. Your parents are good people. If it weren't for saving people, I'm afraid they wouldn't have left. They're just too kind. Lu Lin rubbed her tears and thought of her sisters. Sigh. Jiang Chen let out a sigh. He sometimes hates, hates his parents for being kind. In this world, good people never receive anything in return. He has had this rebellious mentality towards his parents since childhood. By the way, Xiao Jiang. About Wa Wa Qin. Suddenly. Meng Long spoke up. Chapter 10. Walking Alone. Explore the Golden Horn Instinct. You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Baby Kiss. Upon hearing these three words, the expressions of the people present changed slightly. The atmosphere instantly quieted down, and everyone's gaze changed. During the period of major disaster reconstruction, the relationship between the elderly and their parents was excellent, and they regarded each other as siblings. With mutual support and assistance, they lived to this day. Their friendship from the previous generation, and the older generation also hopes to continue to pass it on. So, more than twenty years ago, the two families jointly verbally agreed on the matter of the doll's marriage. The relationship between the two families is extremely harmonious, and they have been in laws for a long time. The two children are also childhood sweethearts, and the matter of child marriage has long been tacitly accepted. Xiao Jiang you're not too young anymore, are you 18 years old this year? It's the legal age for marriage in the country, and I think you too should get the certificate as soon as possible. Meng Long smiled and spoke up. Yeah. Look at me, both of us are old and not dead. Our bodies are very poor. Maybe one day we'll just close our eyes and breathe. I still want to hug my grandson. While we still have some energy, you two can get married as soon as possible, and we can also help you take care of your children. You can also focus on your own affairs. Lu Lin looked anxious. Eleven years ago. The Kong Jinping attacked the Xiaojiang base, and Jiang Chen's parents were killed. And the two elders were not spared, they were also trapped in the ruins. Although later rescued by the fire brigade, he also fell ill. Lu Lin's heart surgery has not been good, and she has undergone several stents afterwards, but the situation is not very optimistic. And Meng Long had a comminuted fracture, 
and his body bones have always been poor. Mom, what are you talking about? When I arrive at the capital, I will seek a genetic medicine to treat stubborn diseases, and I also intend to take you to the capital. Meng Yiran said seriously, her voice paused, and then continued, and. Regarding the matter of marriage, Jiang Chen and I have already discussed it. We plan to focus on our respective careers first and not rush to get married. After hearing this, the two elders exchanged a glance and looked strange. What do you think, Xiao Jiang? Lu Lin looked at Jiang Chen. Life is very long, and no one can say for sure about the future. Uncle and aunt are getting late, and my sister's aunt has recently committed a crime and needs my care. Jiang Chen looked at his phone and smiled helplessly. Your sister. This. Lu Lin looked bewildered. Before he could react, Jiang Chen left in a flash. And the fierce beast meat in the kitchen had just emitted a charming fragrance, like waves of clouds and mist, slowly drifting in the room, making it difficult to see clearly. I'll go see Jiang Chen off. Meng Yiran spoke up and got up before leaving. After the two of them left, Lu Lin and Meng Long exchanged a glance. After a long silence, Meng Long spoke up and said, Do you think the child has changed? Do you also think so? I've never really wanted to believe that since my trip to the imperial capital, my daughter seems to have undergone some indescribable changes. Lu Lin spoke in a daze. Silence again. I'm afraid the most worrisome thing will happen. That's why I urged the two of them to get married. As you know, being separated from each other and having more complex interactions with people makes it difficult for one person to be affected by anything. Meng Long spoke bitterly. Nonsense, my daughter can't be that kind of person. If she really dares to do that, I dare not recognize her daughter. That's the promise of the older generation. That's the bottom line. Lu Lin has a strong personality and a somewhat excited expression. She once again thought of the scene she had with Jiang Chen's parents in the past, as well as the way her daughter and Jiang Chen babbled when they were young. Especially when Jiang Chen lost his parents too early and stood alone on the street. Her eyes slowly turned red. Xiaolin, how could you say such a thing? But Jiang Chen is really suffering. Meng Long let out a sigh. He walked towards the window and looked at the way they parted ways, his expression somewhat unpleasant. Not long after. Meng Yiran returned home. Mom and Dad, I was admitted to Tsinghua University and the school helped me rent a three-bedroom three-ring room. Mom and Dad, why don't you come with me to the imperial capital? Meng Yiran smiled and spoke up. No, I don't want to go anywhere. Lu Lin's face was ugly and her eyes were red. Ah! Imperial capital. The largest city in Xianhua, I'm afraid that the two of us old men and women from the countryside will be buried by the people there. Iran, if you want to go home and have a look, you can take the high dot speed train back. Anyway, it's less than half an hour. Meng Long smiled. In this era, with advanced technology, High dot speed rail is four or five times faster than before. Humph. Lu Lin turned around and quickly walked back to the room, slamming the door shut. Mom. What's going on here? Meng Yiran hesitated and asked. I don't understand. Confused. Isn't it about you and Jiang Chen? Your mother has this temper. I'll go soothe her and it'll be better in a while. Meng Long smiled helplessly, then patted Meng Yiran's shoulder and said, No matter what choice you ultimately make, I am your father. Yiran, don't look bitter, just smile. Meng Long's rough big hand touched the corner of Meng Yiran's mouth and gave a gentle smile. Watching my father enter my mother's room. Meng Yiran's eyes were filled with tears, her fists clenched tightly, and her finger joints turned white. Her gaze gradually became firm and the corner of her mouth slightly raised, smiling and saying, I will. I don't need others' understanding. I'm just myself. 
The scent of ferocious beast meat in the distance made Jiang Chen involuntarily swallow and spit, and he could feel his instincts yearning. Swallowing the flesh of ferocious beasts seems to unlock the potential of golden horn giants, but this potential development is not just about increasing one's own strength like metal. Jiang Chen relied on the instinctive feedback of the golden horn giant to come up with the answer. It seems that there are still many secrets about the golden horn giant that I need to slowly uncover, and I may also need some secret techniques. The secrets of humans have always been more suitable for humans, and some of the original life methods of the golden horn giant may not be suitable for me today. Jiang Chen pondered. Along the way, Jiang Chen had been exploring the golden horn instinct and unknowingly arrived at home. Brother, you're back. Lan Chi'er blinked her big eyes. His chin rested on the dining table, lazily looking at Jiang Chen. On the table, the food was still steaming hot. Lan Chi'er ate her own portion, and the remaining half was neatly placed on the other side of the plate. Did you still take my share? Do you know I'm coming back? Jiang Chen was slightly taken aback and looked at Lan Chi'er with suspicion. Lan Chi'er instantly became mentally alert, with a serious expression on her face. She nodded seriously and said, Yes. We have a deep affection for each other, and we have reached the point of telepathy. Your sister's stomach twitched slightly, and she knew my brother hadn't eaten. Jiang Chen is speechless. Smiling and shaking her head, she lightly tapped Lan Chi'er's forehead. You. But you've worked hard. In a few days, our lives will be greatly improved, and I'll give you a big surprise then. Jiang Chen smiled and spoke up. Upon hearing this, Lan Chi'er nodded in agreement and said excitedly, I'll give you a big surprise then. I'm afraid my brother will be stunned when he sees my surprise. Lan Chi'er is full of confidence. Okay. Let's see whose surprise is bigger then. Jiang Chen laughed heartily. Subsequently, Jiang Chen began to wolf down his food. It has to be said that after inheriting the Golden Horn Giant, his appetite has greatly increased, and he can no longer satisfy ordinary food, always feeling hungry. Not long after, Lan Chi'er was dozing off, subconsciously pulling Jiang Chen's arm as a pillow, and fell asleep sweetly. You've been very tired these days. Jiang Chen looked at his sister's delicate profile and whispered to himself. His gaze was fixed on the Qingxian ring, with a deep gaze.